This is Maxxis Aspen. I've been running this tire as a front one on my cross-country full suspension bike uh, and I've been using this one in the cross-country marathonish terrain. Uh, do I feel this tire is faster? No, I don't. Uh, some riders will tell you that if you jump from, let's say, Racing Ralphs to Maxxis Aspen, you will just feel the bike flying. I don't feel that. Uh, so this is just the feeling, it's not based on power data and, and some time of my, of my let's say, field test um, uh, loops. But this tire doesn't give me uh, the... I don't feel the confidence on this tire. Uh, I think it's pretty predictable, it, it doesn't surprise me with, the, with these uh, knobs here. Uh, but there's almost like there were no knobs. So, that's why I would not buy Maxxis Aspen. Maybe, maybe it's a bit faster than some, some other um, tires like the tire I love, which is Maxxis uh, Crossmark. Uh, but I think we pay a just huge penalty for having lighter, more supple and maybe faster tires because the puncture resistance on this one is horrible so this is one thing i can tell you for sure the puncture resistance is horrible uh, this this one yeah this this was the slow leak from my yesterday's ride uh, i got on this tire with the inner tubes already about four slow leak punctures this is not the x e, uh, ex also exo uh, version but um, I do not like this tire. I love Maxxis. I love Maxxis uh, Minions. I love Maxxis Crossmark, as I said, for the cross country. Even if I would save a, a couple of watts, uh, this risk of getting punctures and not having enough uh, grip, in my opinion, and my feeling, this, this is just my personal, is not worth it. Just let, let's look at the treat. You see, there is one interesting thing. Um, these knobs the central ones, these are asymmetrical. Uh, this knob is longer, maybe I think you can see this, and this one is shorter, and it's on all of these uh, through the whole tire. So that's interesting. We might think that maybe uh, since this one is longer, this one is shorter, then this one will be longer, uh, and this one will be shorter. No. You've got different treat on the left side and on the right side. No, I don't feel like my bike is turning by itself. Uh, I don't feel like no, this is something bad. This is just something interesting. But for sure, it's not the, the tire that would perform if you want to go hard and, and, and be aggressive on the cross-country races. Marathons, maybe, but if marathons buy the EXO version, which will be 60 grams heavier about, and will give you some more uh, puncture resi resi resistance. This is it, the Aspen, Maxxis Aspen. This is the 2.1, so pretty narrow one. But as you can see from, from the tire, which is now with no air inside, this is really like a paper, almost like a paper. You can see the casing. I'm gonna show you that on the icon. You can literally see the casing. So there is so little rubber here for spending uh, for saving some some grams and maybe watts, I'm not sure about it. This is not something that gives me confidence, uh, that, that lets me think I'm riding a mountain bike, which is uh, capable of many things in the terrain. So Aspen, no, I would not buy this tire. And here is the Maxxis Icon. I've been running this one uh, at the rear as a rear tire. So Icon 2.2. Uh, 3C, so we have three types of the compound uh, on the tire and max speed. So yes, this tire might be made for maximum speed. And I would say this one is would be pretty good on the hard pack in terms of, of the speed. I would not say Racing Rough would be bad on the hard pack, but this would fit. If you want to be cornering, if you want to have like really grippy tire, uh, climbing steep climbs on different terrain, uh, I would go for Crossmark or Racing Ralphs, that's, that's my choice, uh, it wouldn't be this one. The casing is almost on the ou outside here, I'm going to show you that on the other side, you can see it. This uh, doesn't have many, uh, a lot of mileage, so it's, it, looks, it looks like that when it's new, 
uh, and let's just look at the at the knobs as well and this is what i'm talking about you're getting zero protection with the non-exo version so about 60 grams lighter once more without the exo additional rubber this one I, I don't i wouldn't even call it a mountain bike you can call it maybe like a trail trekking bike no for a trekking bike i would also want to have more uh, puncture, puncture resistance this is just bad and it looks like that just across the the whole tire you can see it here the casing is just visible you can see it right here and it's not because of the wear this was the new uh, tire just like that you can see the casing right here it's also sticking out a little bit so um, nope the mountain bikes should not be super fragile extremely light but super fragile we need mountain bikes which will just perform well so Maxxis uh, Icon and Aspen without EXO for sure not for me and finally the treat one positive thing about this tire is this shape right here such a shape means predictability so throughout throughout a whole profile of uh, of this tire uh, all these knobs are making one nice shape uh, that means uh, it will be predictable but since you don't have larger uh, side knobs or these don't like stand out more they won't be gripping while cornering too much so predictable yes riding fast straight uh, long marathons why not yes uh, but this is not the aggressive uh, mountain bike tire or cross-country tire and cross-country in my opinion now should be aggressive because cross-country tracks are super aggressive so this is okay uh, if you decide to buy this one once more I do really recommend the EXO version but uh, as for myself and my riding style and the fun I want to have um, it's not the Aspen and not the Icon so that's my opinion let me know what's yours in the in the comments and see you bye bye